In this video, we will learn how to set up an immutable lab for running Ansible or Kubernetes. Basically, you need to arrange a lab setup with multiple nodes. As we know that we don't always get the luxury of dedicated lab setup for learning Ansible, we are planning to run labs using a local laptop or a workstation. So we will use VirtualBox and Vagrant for this lab and we will create multiple VMs for practicing. If you have a better arrangement for virtual machines like a public cloud account or on-premise local servers, please use the same. Why VirtualBox and Vagrant? As you know, Vagrant is a simple and easy to use tool for building and managing virtual machine environment in a single workflow. And it is available for Windows, Linux and Mac platforms. And you don't need to worry about the cloud infrastructure as you can do most of the items in your own laptop or desktop or workstation by virtual machines on top of VirtualBox or other supported virtualization platform. Note, you can skip this step if you are planning uh, or if you are preparing your virtual machines or servers for the lab in a different method. But make sure you cover the steps for configuring the virtual machines uh, before using the lab. So let's install a uh, virtual box first. VirtualBox is one of the simplest and easiest tools to create quick virtual machines on your workstation. You can try with other alternatives like VMware Workstation or KVM, but for this demo, we will use VirtualBox and Vagrant. Installing VirtualBox is uh, pretty straightforward and you just need to follow the instruction on the installation wizard. And I am using my MacBook for this demo, but there won't be much difference on installation for Windows or Linux. In order, you just need to open So the installation was successful, just close this one and we don't need the download package anymore so I just delete it. Now you just need to open VirtualBox. So that's it. So you can create new virtual machines here uh, but we are not going to create anything manually. Uh, we have we are going to use Vagrant for creating virtual machines. So we will do that in the next step Vagrant installation is also simple and straightforward either download and install or use the existing uh, package managers like uh, brew install or something like that Let us uh, install Vagrant first So that's it. So we will verify whether Vagrant is already installed or not. So Vagrant is already installed. Uh, let's verify the Vagrant version and yeah, let's start with Vagrant. Vagrant minus V. Then it will show the version. Yes, we are good. So we have Vagrant installed. We have VirtualBox installed. We don't have any virtual machines so far. So what we will do, we have to create the lab using this Vagrant and VirtualBox, but we are not going to to this uh, in manually manual way we will have a vagrant file which will automatically provision virtual machines for your ansible lab to test the vagrant and virtual box functionality we will just try with uh, some demo box what we can do is just vagrant minus v yeah we can see the vagrant version so what you have to do is cd then i'll just create vagrant demo so this is a vagrant uh, directory we are going to create. So, so we have to init vagrant. So we will use vagrant 
in it then you can use any OS so I will use Windows slash 8 so you can use any box for testing so I just use a Vagrant in it and send us 8 so Vagrant will automatically create a Vagrant file and we can see the content Vagrant file so we can see the VM we are going to use send us 8 box and then we have to still the wagon is uh, not created the vm it's just a wagon file initialization only if you go back to the machine you can see still it's blank so wagon up see we are not uh, telling wagon to use virtual box or any virtualization uh, software wagon uh, will by default try virtual box if it's installed and it will create the virtual machine in virtual box Let's say if you have um, Google Cloud or uh, AWS something, then uh, remember to configure this uh, API, access everything before you do the Vagrant app. So Vagrant will create the virtual machines inside the cloud provider like GCP or AWS. For our demo, we are using only VirtualBox. Please remember that. So we go back to the virtual box. Yeah, we can see the virtual box is already created. Uh, still is running. So we will wait for some more time. Still, wagon is configuring the virtual machine. Okay, now we have the wagon already created the virtual machine using the box we mentioned, CentOS 8. If you go back you can see the virtual box is already running it's uh, running as headless so you cannot see the sub window if you want to see the window you have to click here and click on the show let's say if you want to check the vagrant uh, virtual machine uh, status so we can simply do vagrant ssh so the vagrant will log in to the virtual machine and you will get ssh access now you are inside the virtual machine Post name, then uptime. Okay, uh, that's all for the backend and virtual box. is very simple and pretty straightforward. If you have any question, you can just ask in the comment box. So now we have the lab arrangement. Now uh, we will create or we will set up our lab, Ansible lab in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time with another video.